Hi guys, I want to go over something we learned today in school and it is how to show or how to express a number up to 999 using place value in multiple ways and simply put that means I can show a three digit number by using different combinations of ones, tens, or hundreds. So let's get down to it. What I've set up is 236 and the most common way that most people would go ahead and try to make, make this using blocks would be by putting two hundreds, which I've done, and three tens, and six ones. But there are many, many other ways, different combinations of ones and tens that we can, uh, that we can use to, to show this number. So let's start by trying to trade a ten in for ten ones. And we don't call it trading so much anymore. The new terminology is decomposing. So we're going to decompose it or split it up into 10 more ones. And I've got those ones right here. Now, you can draw this out. And I'll show you a bunch that I've already drawn out ahead of time. But let's go ahead. And if you were going to draw them out, you want to make sure you draw the right amount. Because otherwise, you're going to get the wrong answer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this time, we still have our two hundreds. We have two tens this time, instead of the three tens. Let me go ahead and underline that. And we have, that's ten, and six ones. Ten ones and six ones gives you sixteen. So now we have sixteen ones. You see what happened? Look at the difference between this one and this one. They both name the same number but I'm using a different combination this time of ones, tens, and hundreds. So the trick is it's got to equal the same number. All right, let's, can we go ahead and decompose this? Sure. And we're going to go ahead and do it into 10 more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we have a whole different combination here, but it's still the same amount, same number. So we still have our two hundreds. We have one ten this time, and we have twenty six ones. We could do the same thing with this, and we'd have you got it thirty six ones, and we would have zero tens that time, and still our two hundreds. But just for the fun of it, let's leave our ten there. And let's come over here and do you think we could decompose one of these? Would you want to trade it in and decompose it? Break it apart into a bunch of single units? A hundred units? Can you picture a hundred units? That's a lot to count. So I'm just thinking, why don't we break it up into ten tens, right? So let's do that. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, if these were all spread out on your paper, you could always count them out and circle them as a hundred, couldn't you? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, a hundred and ten. So you could circle that and group it into a hundred. So now that's a whole different combination. Now we have one hundred. We have 10, 11 tens, and those 26 ones. Now those are just a few few ways. We could trade this and this. I mean, we could trade them all for, for whole different combinations. If we want to trade this in for 10, one, uh, 10 tens, sorry, then we'd have a whole different combination. What I've done is I've, I've pre-written a whole page so you can get an idea of just some possibilities, and then you can try one on. Then you can try one on your own. But that's just a small example, and you can see I've circled and to to um, bundle them or group them into sets, just to make our, our counting a little easier. And now it's time for you guys to give it a shot. So pick a number three-digit number, and try as many different combinations as you can. And what I've done here also is I broke every new addition 
I've changed the color to purple. So everything I started out with was the basic way that we normally would just want to go to right away with the place value, but then I've changed everything and color coordinated. All right, so I hope you give it a try, and I hope it makes a lot of sense to you. All right, bye.